everyone, a very, very, very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum, and as we watch that girl dance in the top right. This is a homebrew, it's called Just a Gal, uh, published in 2019 by ZOSYA Entertainment. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, but it was part of a competition called the Yandex Retro Games Battle, also in 2019. We might cover a few of those games in the future, they were also in at that. So it's a homebrew, so let's expect greatness, but it is on the 48k. Now you've got single race championship or arcade mode will give championship a go what could possibly go wrong now um, looks like we start off in Spain if you recognize that track we have a qualification then the race so here I am gears are automatic oh this is quite smooth isn't it look at that look at the frame rate on that now I really love super hang on the ZX Spectrum which I really should do a revisited uh, version of uh, the frame rate on that isn't quite as smooth as this. This plays quite nice. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with another homebrew we reviewed uh, a while back called 4K Racer or 4K Race. It was a Formula 1 game. That was uh, a little bit um, in terms of smoothness like this one. Hopefully I get round the track. I think you can come off your bike if you crash. If you hadn't noticed, the uh, person riding this bike is a girl, hence the name Just A Gal. But it doesn't make too much difference. I'm just a gal that can't say no, I'm in a terrible fix. Uh, I don't know what that song that is, from some old ancient film. Do you reckon, oh dear, do you reckon I'm going to get in pole position on this one? I would recommend tracking this down, I'm always a sucker for racing games, and 8-bit racing games with a frame rate as good as this, and the graphics as good as this, well, hooray. Now, whether it slows down when we go into the race, because I think we're versus 23 other racers, whether it slows down there, that will be the true acid test. Look at the background, it's blue mountains um, in Spain somewhere or other. Um, not too many trackside obstacles, but you wouldn't really expect that. This is part of the competition. Um, right, so your lap time's in the top left, you see the speed in the top right. Gears are automatic, thank goodness for that. The bike does slip around a bit, so I'll have to ease off the accelerator around this corner. It's a bit of a balancing act, which I'm not quite doing perfectly. No line down the middle of the road, but yeah, you wouldn't have that on a, on a racetrack anyway, so okay. Now I don't know how many racetracks there are in the championship, but I imagine they whoops, I imagine they all go different colours maybe. How am I doing in qualifying? I must be doing good. 126. Is it gonna be the end of the lap? There's the end of the lap. 129, is that good or not? But 007. Did it did it? Oh <laughs> I'm last. What a surprise. By about six seconds. Alright, okay. So more practice required, but I love that qualifying lap. Let's see if the quality carries over to the race. I'm that one at the back. You can't go before the lights have, um, have gone green or vanished, otherwise it's a full start. All right, go, Nick, go. Now, what I think's going to happen is they're all going to drive off. I'm still, well, I'm still keeping in touch with this fella. Away we go. It's over two laps, this, as I slide around. My name is Maureen Miles. Hooray. And I'm just going behind Mario Gulkin. Or is it Macaulay Gulkin? I don't know. Ahead of him is Ashland Pashley. I don't know if these are people that you know or coders. Now it's it's slow slowed down ever so slightly, hasn't it? But it's more it's more than holding its own. Look how I'm leaning and the other bikers aren't leaning quite as much. But it's all about trying to find a path through, I think. Don't crash into the other one. So it's a game of skill, which I don't seem to be having. Don't crash into the other bikers, because I presume you fall off. Hmm, we're going to have to go a bit gentle on this. No way to upgrade the bike. Well, that's okay. It's just an out-and-out -out racer. It does feel a little bit arcadey, but there is an arcade mode, so we'll see how that's different. You can do single race, as I said. Come on, it. Let's get past a few of these people. Go on, Maureen. Come on, Maureen. Whoa, go on, Maureen. Da, 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 da. I like your every move. Right, boo. Um, the engine sounds, well, as you expect, all oh dear, red there. As you'd expect on the ZX Spectrum, it doesn't do too badly. 48k, not 128k, remember? Uh, you know, it's slowed down a little bit, hasn't it, from the uh, the uh, practice lab. But why is no one else leaning apart from me? But that's just a, a minor thing on what is quite an addictive game, I think. Been a while since we played a racing game on the ZX Spectrum, and uh, what better to play just a gal? Good stuff. A uh, nice home brew. Yeah, I do now have to look at Super Hang On. Super Hang On was great, good fun. Um, it, I might have enjoyed it slightly better than this one, but only because of the retroness. This is a this is a great, great effort, and uh, Super Hang On has got nostalgia feel about it. Uh, it's better than Super Cycle, which I looked at um, uh, quite a while back as well. Enduro Racers, another bike racing game, which doesn't do quite the same as this. 
There's another one I can't quite remember. Was there a Super Cycle 2? Not quite sure. Anyway, graphics on this are good. Probably the best graphics on a... It's the best graphics and best frame rate on a biking game that I've played on the ZX Spectrum. To say, Super Hang On, slightly bit more fun. Let's get through this mob. But it's a great game, isn't it? I would recommend tracking this down if you own a real computer or emulation. I downloaded it from the website Spectrum Computing. Just put in just a gal, G-A-L. Right, okay. Oh, look at that, he took me from behind, that fella. Don't take Maureen Miles from behind. That's a tip for you. No jokes. And we're coming behind Daniel Dool. Uh, Cooper feet, Copper feet, who the hell's that? Oh, the bike goes spinning, so you can fall off, and that is a rather neat animation when you come off. It's the sort of game where I want to keep going back to it and getting better and better and perhaps win the championship. I'm not sure there's going to be any saves on this because ZX Spectrum didn't have those. But nowadays you've got save states, haven't you? So you probably could save it at some point. So you're playing it on the original 48k or 128k, then you're not going to have any save points. If you're emulation, you can do. Not sure about the Spectrum Next, that might have save points. If you're playing this on the Spectrum Next and you've made this go even quicker, then well done you. I don't know how you're going to keep on the track at all. Quite sparse uh, scenery as I say there, but um, I, that makes up for it. I'm still getting the impression of speed with those rumble strips each side. On a real track, of course, you wouldn't have rumble strips all the way around, but it's more than necessary here, otherwise it wouldn't seem like you're moving anywhere. Ideally, you need to be taking the racing line, that is, hugging the inside of the bend most times, unless you're coming on the exit going wide for the, uh, the straight. I'm not doing that, and Maureen Miles is in 24th place, but catching up some other bikers can we catch up anyone at all? Maybe there's a bit of rubber banding to give us a chance. I would have liked some of the bikers to be different colours, but maybe that wouldn't have quite worked in the programming, so that's uh, just a little niggle. You know, I would like to see a bit of red, a bit of green, a bit of blue, different coloured bikers, maybe an opponent to uh, mark out and beat. It's only for one player this, you can't have it in two players. It was on the Commodore 64, they might have found a way to do split screen for two players, but uh, as far as I'm aware it's not, it's just a Spectrum only release this one. If you've got a favourite biking game on the Spectrum that I haven't covered, then comment below. I know there's Milk Race, which is quite like this one, but we need to, to do that as well. Come on, right, I've got to weave through this, they're like that big swarm of bees, these people. Oh man, right, so where we are, we're in 22nd place. Well, was before we clipped that other biker. So, you know, you just need a bit of skills, really. You don't want to be clipped by someone behind, which seems a little bit random. But I do feel like I'm in a super, super duper, super ooper duper race. That's it. Finish. Well, I didn't do very well there. How many points do you get for 22nd? Not none, I suppose. The winner was uh, Miroslav Marlow, Harlow, Halo. One of those people, anyway. There we go. I think we'll try and get out of here and do an arcade, uh, maybe, uh, version. Can I get out? I, I, I hope I can. So I'm not on the leaderboard as the moment. Right, leave the championship. We're going to leave it. Some good graphics there. So I'm a big fan of this already. We'll see how arcade plays. Oh, it's green. Green with a black track. That's nice to see. And I think this time... Yeah, it's automatically accelerating, so I'm not, have to do, I'm not even going to have to accelerate this time. It's just, uh, I've got the idea, it's just left and right, trying to overtake as many uh, bikes as you can without crashing off. Whoops. The traction is a lot better, so the road holding is, well, it's, it's much, much better than the championship mode, which is trying to do simulation, I suppose. Yeah, and each time you crash, your bike goes spinning. I think in the top left you see my lives left, which is two bikes. So that's what this is about, go on as long as you possibly can. A bit like pole position, I suppose. We can just weave around here. Don't expect to get road, road holding like this in the championship, or she'll be winning quite easily. Off we go, my point's speeding up there. I prefer, I think I prefer, this is great fun actually. Is it my imagination, because there's less bikes on the track now, um, it's going a bit quicker. It is going a bit quicker, isn't it, than the championship mode, where they was all there at the same time, where the computers have to think to animate them. Now it just seems like bundles of two or three at a time, which is, it, whoa, which is poking with much better. One life left, then we'll probably go into a single race, see how another track um, changes. Great game, you're going to get a lot of fun out of this one. I do like these competitions that, that come up, really. Don't do too many homebrews, but when I do, it tends to be a great one. Um, the last one we did was quite recently, actually, called Manic Pietro, which was a take on Manic Minor, except uh, you control um, 
uh, Super Mario and Luigi in that one. So check that one out if you haven't already. Two videos up on that one. One where it has uh, new levels and the other one where it uh, tries to recreate quite well actually the um, screens of Manic Miner. But this is racing. Z-O-S-Y. Zosya, so it pronounced Entertainment 2019. The Spectrum lives on and on and on and on and on. And with the Spectrum next now, it's probably going to live another 8 million years. Hooray! No undulation in this, but it doesn't take away from the quality of the game. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's really motoring along now. We've only got one crash and we're doomed through there. Right, we've got round one lap. Oh, the scenery's changed, is it? It's like stage two. We're in a different land now. So it's going around a bit like, uh, well, I'm pushing it now, Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge. Can you imagine if that was on a motorbike? That'd be quite good. Well, Super Hang On's a bit like that, isn't it, really? Super Hang On on the Commodore Amiga wasn't wasn't a great upgrade, but on the uh, Mega Drive, it was pretty cool. Boo. Right, I'm getting the hang of this. I think you could play this for quite some time here. Green racers on a black background. The other one was black ones on a yellow background. So I'd imagine this is, this theme's going to continue throughout the whole thing, and that's it, me doomed. 2,625 points. Beat that if you dare. Right, so we'll just do one one last thing. Single mode. Oh, single single race only gives you three ones. Slovakia, Norway, or Mozambique. That's probably yellow. Slovakia's probably white, I suppose. Is it? Maybe. Should we do Mozambique? No, we do Norway, okay. Norway, Norway. But up and up. Three laps. Oh, this time it's like uh, it's all, gr all full start. You can't no qualifying with this. You can't start before the lights go out. So this one, it's a it's black races on a totally green background. So slightly different from before, but still with a bit of green. Green on black last time. Now it's black on green. Fair's fair. Yeah, slightly 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 slower, isn't it? Slightly slower than the arcade mode. As Maureen Miles is off again. Oh, Maureen. There was a Maureen of driving school, wasn't there? Was her name Miles? Is that a takeoff of her? I need to do a Google. Maureen Miles. It's put, it might be based on her. Slow down, Maureen. Well, you need to speed up, Maureen. So I come 22nd before, but then I had the beauty of qualifying, where I got that great position of, of last by six seconds. Will I see the rest of the races ever again? Well, put your uh, predictions below. I, pres I presume not. Is there a lot of... If you're from Norway watching this, comment below. Is there a lots of blue mountains and I presume that's a blue lake in front of me. I think it's moving slightly and splashing a bit. That's nice. We seem to have an animated... Oh, that's banking a little bit. We seem to have an animated um, water, I think. And that is rather cool. It, it does bank. I've only just noticed that. It does bank round the corners. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, why didn't I notice that before? That's, a re that's really cool. Super cool in vet. What a game this is. I think I'm gonna, if I did score, I think it'd be 10 out of 10, I think. Yeah, actually, now I've got used to it a bit, I prefer it to Super Hang On. That's sacrilege, I know, because that was a rather cool game. But the uh, the frame rate on that wasn't quite as good. But uh, it, was, it was quite epic. I, I prefer Super Hang On on the... Um, on the um, what do I prefer it on? The uh, Spectrum and the Amiga, so there we go. I don't think we'll do uh, the full race here because it's obvious we're not going to see anyone again. So we saw the championship, we saw what single race has to offer and we saw the arcade. You see how smoothly it plays. It's a good racer if you're into motorbiking games you can't go much wrong with this in terms of 8-bit. It's sensational and I'm glad I brought that too. So let's park this up on the middle of the track. I'm sure that isn't dangerous at all. If we wait forever we'll get lapped but um, that's 100% safe. So hope you liked having a look at that one. That was just a gal. A rather splendid homebrew in 20 by ZOSYA Entertainment, Zostia Entertainment. Got any comments about this game, similar games, anything retro or indeed homebrew, then put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.